Our text, Isaiah 50 verse 6, And I gave my back to those who struck me, and my cheek to those who plucked out my beard. Heading, Christ offered once. This laying on of the hands upon the sacrifice mean not only acceptance, but also transference, conveyance. The offerer had confessed his sins and had accepted the victim then presented to be his sacrifice. And now he mentally realizes that his guilt is by divine appointment to pass over from himself to the sacrifice. First, of course, this was done only in type and figure at the door of the tabernacle, you know, in the Old Testament. But in our case, the Lord Jesus Christ, as a matter of literal fact, has borne the sins of his people. The Lord is made to meet on him the iniquity of us all, who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree. Christ was once offered to bear the sins of many. Second, but do we by faith pass our sins from ourselves to Christ? I answer, no. In some senses, no. But by faith, he that accepts Christ as his Savior agrees what the Lord did ages ago. For we read in the book of Isaiah the prophet, The Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. That was Yahweh's own act in the ages past, and it was complete when Jesus stood as the great sin-bearer and redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. All the transgressions of his people were laid on him when he poured out his soul unto death and was numbered with the transgressors and bare the sins of many. Then and there he expiated all the guilt of his people, for he finished transgression and made an end of sin and brought in everlasting righteousness. Application by his death he cast the whole tremendous load of human guilt which was laid upon him into the depths of the sea, never to be found again. When we believe in him, we agree that the Lord has done. There are two ruling religions around us in this day, and they mainly differ in tenses. The general religion of mankind is, do, you must do. But the religion of a true Christian is done. It is finished. The telestai is the believer's conquering word. Christ has made atonement and we accept it as done. So in that respect, we do lay our sins on Jesus, the Holy Lamb of God, because we set our humble seal to that grand transaction, which was the confirming of the covenant of old. I pray. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for the understanding that Jesus was sacrificed even before the foundation of the world. In Jesus' name, Amen.